game is called Spin Tires Mud Runner, and it's a truck simulation game where you drive Soviet-era vehicles across uh, the Russian wilderness. And it sounds pretty plain, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you've got. I wasn't gonna say anything. Say it's no. a it's a very <laughs> physics it's a very physics heavy simulation game. Like um, it's sort of like Euro Truck Simulator meets Beam.ng. I don't know if you're familiar with that game. But uh, we've got uh, physics models for just about everything you can see in the game, from the vegetation up until like we've got soft tire physics, uh, suspe like realistic suspension, even like uh, the vegetation, like even the trees and the branches. They've all got uh, their own physics model. Um, the main, you know, the game's called Spin Tires Mud Runner, and one of the main focuses on the game is in fact the mud. And uh, as you see, when we drive across. Our, uh, oh. With our truck, you can see the mud uh, splitting up, and even getting caught in the uh, the ribs of the tires and things like that, oh. which will always, which will eventually keep affecting the way you drive and things like that. That must be so hard to code as yeah. a coder. Yeah, uh, the the team's a, it's a custom built engine actually. The team worked on it uh, themselves. It's not running on Unreal or anything like that. It's uh, it's their own house engine. And uh, they built it from the ground up. I think it was a Kickstarter at first, and then yeah, yeah, started as a Kickstarter. Um, so the original game was actually called uh, Spin, Spin Tires. Yeah, Spin Tires. Spin tires. Uh, so this is okay. sort of the follow-up from that uh, with uh, upgraded engine um, and a lot more in-depth stuff. Well, I love it when Kickstarters actually accomplish like a real end game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the dream. Uh, the main bulk of the game takes place in really big sandbox maps. So this is one of them here. Uh, there's actually a total of six six maps, uh, all with their own themes. This one's the bog, so you got a lot of swampy, like uh, a lot of like uh, shallow water, and things like that. Uh, this uh, there's also another map called Demerge, and it's just a whole flooded section, and it's just water everywhere, and it's an absolute nightmare to traverse. But that that's the that's the, the real yeah yeah it's the it, yeah. the struggle is what we we want to is what the players want to feel like they want to try to achieve something, try to push the limits of their Soviet-era vehicles across <laughs> these like really harsh uh, wilderness conditions. You're going to be in environments where most games, they wouldn't even let you drive in them because it just seems impossible. Yeah. <laughs> so I noticed that some of the trucks are locked. Um, how does actually one open more trucks? OK, so the, there are two ways to unlock stuff. The first way is, of course, to just visit the trucks and go find them out in the world. Sometimes they're like trapped in a river or something like that, and you have to use winches and cranes and things to pull them out. And uh, you can also go to. Uh, Another way to unlock stuff is to visit the log stations. Like there's one up here, which is really, really far away. And uh, the, you deliver the logs over to the lumber mill. And of course, logs, they move about. And they're like really tough to traverse, especially if you're like driving around a really tight, narrow, muddy path. It's like really uh, difficult to send it through. So it's up to players to uh, think of their own route. Like they can go through off-road if they want, or they can try traveling the road as well. Uh, you can change what's on your truck I'll just drive over to the uh, I'll drive over back to the garage you can change the add-ons and the trailers and things like that to uh, to to like get like a loadout that's uh, a loadout uh, you get like uh, equipment selection that's like useful for your current situation so like in this in this map it seems like the log stations really really far away so you might need fuel but there is a fuel station, so if I wanted to go around the long way to take like a safe route, I might need to drop off at the fuel station, or I can just go off-road and carry like a uh, fuel cistern at the back of my truck here, and then just uh, get the fuel from there. That makes you heavier. Yeah, yeah uh, things in like the that. Mud. The entire game is uh, the entire sandbox maps. They're all playable in four-player co-op, which is a really, um, if in, in case you wanted to do more complicated deliveries. Or you wanted to reach like mountains far away, uh, it, it'd be better to travel as a group. Um, one of the new uh, additions to this, because this is the next iteration of Spin Tires, one of the new additions to the game is the challenge mode, where we give you like a vehicle, a specific vehicle in a specific part of the map, and then we just expect you to, to handle this specific objective. Uh, you can make it more difficult with a bunch of uh, challenge. Uh, there are some challenges that make uh, make the journey more difficult. Like uh, you can only play at nighttime. You can't use the winches. You uh, you should never let go of the accelerator. Things like that. <laughs> um, 
in this particular challenge mode, we've got three trucks like lined up in a row here. Mm -hmm. uh, this could also like you can't play this specific scenario in co-op because the challenge modes are only single player. But for this uh, for this situation, you can emulate it in co-op and it'll still be just as effective. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach a winch to the back truck behind me. Uh, ideally, you do this with a friend, so you'd have uh, two other friends with you. Uh, the idea is you, you bring the two trucks along a, like a longer journey, and then when you need to go off-road and reach a certain point, like say the top of a mountain, something like that, you can take the little Jeep and your third friend can like unload himself and then get to the objective if you want. Um, the winch uh, is traditionally, of course, designed to pull like this. Uh, it's a bit heavy, so it's struggling. But um, if you're by yourself, if you're playing by yourself and you winch yourself to an empty vehicle, you can switch it to drive mode, which just uh, changes the winch button to accelerate. So it means you can, do, you can do some of the basic, I think, cooperative moves. Like, they're not specifically moves, but, you know, uh, play around with uh, multiple trucks at once, even if you're just a single player. Um, if we wanted to talk river. about some, oh, sorry. What are we going to cross the river with three? Yeah, we're going to try to cross the river with this very <laughs> blunt, so blunt-faced <laughs> truck, Whoa. which is probably a bad idea. So, probably. but but we're going to do it anyway. Um, uh, the water is not really animated; it's it's still the physics suspense. simulated, and it's uh, quite like a, we, we we're pretty proud of oh, our wow. extremely Wait. realistic water. He's so, taking damage. Uh, yeah, he is, but I think he'll be okay. The front of the truck is going to struggle at this point, so I'm going to get the truck at the back to try to accelerate a little bit more and push me across. Everybody remain calm. <laughs> <laughs> You'll notice as well that the... Hold on to your butts. Uh, clinch, <laughs> clinch, clinch, <laughs> clinch, clinch. You'll notice as well driving through the water uh, actually cleans your tires of the mud oh. that you might have accumulated. So this is a pretty extreme way to uh, clean your vehicle, so I wouldn't advise <laughs> going through this kind of water. But if you come across, say, a st small stream and you've been having difficulties with it all, uh, clogging up your tires, then uh, it can be a pretty good way of dealing with it. Can the, the other vehicle, physics, though. Can the other vehicles um, get, you know, damaged if, in fact, they're staying too long in the water? Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, so you kind of have to keep moving along. You can't just, like, idle there. Yeah, yeah, and you definitely, if you are, if you ever find yourself idling, you should be definitely holding down on that accelerator because if you get your engines flooded, you're you're not going to have a nice time. Yeah, you need to make sure the water line doesn't go above the exhaust, uh, just yeah. like real life. You can okay, so you guys are being as realistic as possible to yeah. like, any vehicle. I mean, even the fuel at the back of this truck is simulated, as you can see, it, yep. and, uh, just hopping over there. Uh, it's uh, the amount of detail that the team like uh, worked on is uh, pretty amazing. I'm going to switch over to another challenge just to uh, put things, uh, just to conclude. But uh, we've got, uh, like, as I said, we have Soviet-era vehicles. So it, it ranges from all sorts of kinds of, like, uh, Russian, Russian vehicles. Uh, the game has, uh, for PC users, because the game's going to be out on Xbox One and PS4 as well, for PC users, they get access to all the mod tools. So you can uh, create and import your own vehicles. You can put your own maps in. Uh, the community's been <laughs> working on like American wilderness and like American trucks, like Ford Explorer and things like that. But uh, like the from with our game, it's just uh, we we work on the Russian vehicles, the old Russian vehicles, and uh, definitely the old Russian environments and things like that. This Looks is an example of one of our this. I think it's so cool that the community community can get involved. Yeah. In making this game look really cool. Yeah, they've been a huge part of this game. Um, is this an uh, amphibious type vehicle? So it's not an amphibious vehicle, but it's definitely good at traversing, uh, traversing the water and things like that. It's because there's so just so many wheels, and uh, it's got differential lock on, which means that the uh, the wheels on each axle they spin at the right uh, the same rate. It kind of you kind of lose a lot of traction, but uh, you uh, you got a lot of uh, I mean you lose a lot of control, but you gain a lot of traction with something mm -hmm. like that. Like but a tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's essentially like that. Uh, uh oh, uh, that looks deep. Sink or swim. Yeah. Um, Can we show what happens when it sinks? Oh yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> Let's do that. Also, how many game modes are you guys wanting, or oh. can we share today? So right now, uh, uh, well, I mean, on release, which is uh, on October this year, when mm -hmm. we uh, when we release the game, there'll be uh, a tutorial mode, which wasn't in the original game, because uh, it was a really technical game. I mean, we have also a really elaborate gear shifting system, which I didn't, I didn't really go into yet. But um, 
We've got a tutorial mode which covers every aspect of the game, including like working the cranes, uh, using the winches properly, and things like that, and driving the more like uh, driving every type of vehicle. Then we've got uh, the sandbox mode with the six maps, uh, those large maps, completely playable in co-op. Then we have the challenge mode, which is uh, it, it's the like set missions where we give you a vehicle, we give you a map, and then you have to try to do it as best you can with like a bunch of bonus objectives like do it at night time or like uh, complete the mission without the use of winches and things like that. Right. Yeah. Are we still driving? Oh, oh I mean, I, was, yeah. I stopped because I needed to... <laughs> you <laughs> thought you were done. Concentrate. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, overall, I think uh, the game's, it's like, it's pretty niche. Uh, but the community is really, really strong, and we're really, really pr uh, happy to say that like a lot of the, a lot of the fan like requests are being looked into, um, namely people with uh, wheels, wheel controllers. They have a little bit of trouble with the camera because it's a bit of a unique camera system. Mm -hmm. As you can see, like it's got a slight pan before actually committing to a like a turn, and uh, it's it's kind of difficult for wheel users. But we're looking into new camera angles, and we're working on. Uh, like a new, uh, something's been asked is uh, like a cockpit view or something like that. And we're looking into new ways to do that. Currently, we've got a work in progress uh, hood view that's here, but uh, we're, we're still uh, tinkering around with it. All right. Like well, thank you guys so much for showing this game. Nice.